Batilla, the Vice Chancellor here at UTS, the University of Technology, Sydney. If you're joining us today, then you'll recognise the importance and the critical role that technology plays in all of our future, the way that it's shaping the very world around us. Technological advances such as big data, automation, AI, robotics, machine learning, and the Internet of Things is progressing rapidly. So it should come as no surprise to you that Australia's demand for tech-savvy workforce is also growing. The total qualifications held by information and communication technology workers is projected to grow by 3% year on year, up to roughly 1.13 million by 2023. And that's great news for any students interested in a career in technology. Now the Big Day Inn has always been a special event for us here at UTS. In fact, the first Big Day Inn was discovered or was developed at UTS nine years ago by two UTS students and of course, the Australian Computer Society Foundation. Since then, it has expanded annually over two days and reaches now more than 1,700 students and kicks off with a national roadshow. At UTS, we have a strong reputation for partnering with industry and for really impactful research in a range of areas, again, including AI, robotics, data analytics, cybersecurity, and of course, quantum computing. Each of these areas is crucial to supporting the next generation of Australian industry, but also for benefiting society more broadly. At UTS, our staff, students, researchers, and industry partners work together to solve some of the world's most challenging problems. Also, we've got examples of our research at a smaller scale that really benefits local communities. One example is Shark Spotter, the world's first shark detection system that uses artificial intelligence loaded into drones to keep swimmers safe. The software relays real time information from the sea to the shore and enables surf lifesavers to make decisions around swimmer safety. Now you'd be interested to hear that this technology has also been adapted in the north of Australia to detect crocodiles and also more broadly across Australia to help farmers locate their livestock on particularly large farms. This is just one of the many research projects that have a real world impact in our community. Now our challenge to you today and throughout your high school and university career is to be curious, to think about new ways of doing things, different ways and dare to be the best you can be because you are the future leaders of not only our industry and the tech industry, but Australia at large. I'd also like to thank the teachers for encouraging your students to explore these opportunities in the technological fields. So in closing, thank you. Thank you everyone for coming today, for taking the time to find out more about the future of technology and the extraordinary career possible possibilities that are open to you. I wish you all the very best. Thanks. Hello, my name is Ian Opperman. I'm the president of the Australian Computer Society and also the chief data scientist for the state of New South Wales and an industry professor at UTS, where we were all going to be together today. I was really looking forward to joining you in person, but since I can't, just let me do two things. Let me first acknowledge that we're all meeting on the lands of traditional Aboriginal elders, and I'd like to pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging and extend those respects to anyone who's joining us today. And secondly, let me offer my voice of support for the big day in and the really exciting program over the, the two days of the big day in. We're joining virtually as opposed to being there in person. It shows just how important technology is to the world we live in right now and also how important technology is to the, our future world, whether it's engaging socially, whether it's telehealth or telelearning or tele anything or the use of AI or the use of data. Our world, our future world is connected. Our future world is data. Our future world is tech. So I hope you get excited, inspired by the big day in and looking forward to seeing you in person next year. Thank you. I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the lands that we are all meeting on today. I'm joining you from Gamilaroi land and I pay my respects to elders past, present and emerging. As Education Minister, it is such a pleasure to be part of the Big Day Inn and to welcome all of you with STEM and ICT career aspirations. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the amazing contribution that UTS has made in the area of STEM through their postgraduate and undergraduate degrees and of course their school outreach programs including today's event. Our government recognises that students who have studied STEM are helping to solve the problems of today and of the future. You will also be highly sought after when it comes to future employment. In fact, recent analysis shows that employment in STEM occupations grew 1.9 times higher than the growth rate for other occupations. 
Deloitte recently reported that we will require at least 60,000 more ICT workers per year over the next five years. As a government, we are committed to the promotion of ICT and STEM skills in our schools. And in response, we have established high impact programs, some of them which might be familiar to you, such as the STEM Industry School Partnerships, our New South Wales Virtual STEM Academy, and Technology for Learning, or t for l As a proud resident of regional New South Wales, I'm also particularly delighted by our Rural Access Gap program, which is the first priority under our school's digital strategy. Now, this program is currently delivering new portable devices and enabling access to STEM technology for over a thousand rural and regional schools. This is a total game changer. Our government is also currently undertaking an ambitious program of curriculum reform, which will lead to the development of a future-focused curriculum and new ICT courses, which is also very exciting. I don't need to tell you all that with digitalisation and automation continuing to rapidly and dramatically change the world of work, we are unable to predict many of the jobs that you, as today's STEM students, will hold as your careers unfold. But what we can be certain of, however, is that you will need deep discipline knowledge in your field. You will need digital literacy and the flexibility to pivot your careers to embrace new challenges. A STEM education delivers you all of these skills. So there really is no better time than right now to be starting a career in STEM. So I hope you all have a great time today and I wish you the very, very best in your future careers. Thank you.